What's up, y'all, man? Kim and Paul are still back here with my video. I want to speak about some shit, bro. Uh, I recently did a video. I'll be right back, okay? Clarence, I'll be right back, okay? I recently did a video, I wasn't super recent. Turn right. Um, just trying to think about this. So basically, there's a video. A lot of interracial dating don't work out, right? And uh, okay. I recently uh, looked at it again, saw some comments and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do a part, doing a part two. And um, a lot of people took it the wrong way. Like I said, like. Most times, some most of the time, it's not has nothing to do with the people that's actually dating. It's always the family, the friends, uh, and the circle, right? The inner circle, of you know what I'm saying? The relationships they had before that, they caused it to go awry. Whether that be exes that still cool with the family, um, all that type, of, you know what I'm saying? Friends. Most of the time, parents. And um, in that regard, in my opinion, sometimes, like, you gotta be strong to do it. And a lot of people ain't strong. And when I say strong, like, if you have a good relationship with your, like, if you're Hispanic, right? If you're an Hispanic woman, and you have a good relationship with your mom, and your mama don't like black dudes. I wouldn't really advise dating black people. Like, even if you like the guy, I wouldn't advise dating somebody that you know your mama don't like and you know you're going to cause tension when you and your mama have a beautiful relationship. You know? Man, it's not a, that's a, that's a, a, a bad trait for her to have. I mean, I don't understand it, but, you know, that's how some people are. But that's your mom, you know what I'm saying? That's your mama, bro. You have, especially if you have a good relationship, if you and your dad, if you're a white girl, you and your dad have a good relationship. Your dad don't like black dudes. If you go to school and you find somebody, like, you know what I'm saying, maybe you go to college, maybe you get out and go to college, or just meet somebody casually, like, while you live and start dating them and go getting together, I mean, you know what I'm saying? If, you're, if you know your dad don't like black guys, and you and your dad really do have a beautiful relationship, I don't, I don't know if it would be a good idea to seriously date, because you know you're going to fuck that relationship up with your dad, but now, if that relationship with that dude don't pan out, and say your dad don't forgive you, and you in your 20s, that's not going to be cool to miss all them Christmases and stuff like that. Now, it's just, you shouldn't do all that, honestly, because it's your life. But you got people that's like that, bro. And sometimes it's not worth ruining those relationships. Or something that might not last. It's just, it's still, even though it's interracial, it's still a relationship, bro. It's nothing different. You know, it's just different to people outside of doing it. But most of the time, people do it is for something new. And when that new feeling goes away, all the bullshit that motherfuckers try to escape because a lot of people do it to escape i guess the bullshit they feel like they get with their other dating their own race they feel like if they date somebody another race they won't give them that but usually we're all the same it's just that that first those first few months of it being new and then of course now some of us are different like uh i've talked to this for example uh not all because there's black men that hit women too but like a lot of uh, hispanic dudes show that they show their women how they feel with their fists. You know? It's just something they do. Uh, you know, as black guys, we like to talk shit out and it's, it's more verbal. If things can get physical. Usually it's the woman that escalates. If you're just a bitch ass nigga, but usually it's the woman that. In a quarter mile. Turn right onto the I 30 West Ramp. Usually it's the woman in a black uh, relationship that escalates stuff physically. I'm not saying black men don't, but usually it's just bitch ass niggas that do that shit. They're raised like hoes. But usually men that are raised right by them, like a man like me, raised by my mom, and I seen my mom and get the relationship. Turn right onto the ice. Um, every time I meet somebody, I'm really gonna do something to that nigga, bro. I was a kid. So I told myself I would never do that. No matter how mad I get, I could always walk away. You know what I'm saying? There's places you can go. 
you're not trapped inside with nobody. So a lot of women want to black women want to date black guys because of that. Um, a lot of black women feel like uh, black men don't know how to get it together financially, and they slack and wait, and they feel like when they give it a white guy, they already have it together, and it's not hard. It's financially to get it together, and you know what I'm saying? So they go, you know, everybody leaves for different reasons. I don't, you know what I'm saying? But like, keep left. For the most part, most folks ain't that different. Usually it's the, it's the family, bro, that make that shit difficult to do. Now, if you're a strong person and, y'all, and y'all, you don't have a good relationship with the family outside of, you know what I'm saying, already, it won't really be that bad because you don't have a good relationship already, you know what I'm saying, your dad's already fucked up with your mom, you know what I'm saying, or you, you do to your mom is like that. Continue on I-30 West for three quarters of a mile. Black women don't like white girls, so maybe in her life, she grew up in the 70s, like in the 80s, and where white people mean the racism is kind of more harsher now, so she has like a bad taste in the mouth, right? So she don't want you to date nobody white. You know what I'm saying? In half a mile, keep left to stay on I 30 West. My fault, y'all trying to listen to you. But, um, yeah, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think.